This is the World Blitz Chess Championship, where the best players in the world compete to become the Blitz World Champion. And while Magnus Carlsen has been the crown champion here, winning the past two Blitz Championships without issue, a powerful contender, Hikaru Nakamura, was rising the ranks, demolishing everybody. Being known for his inhuman speed and deadly accuracy, Hikaru was starting to pose a huge threat to Magnus's crown, earning a 16.5 score after beating Rolf Mamadov, tying Magnus for first place. It was now time for the title match, with both players knowing they need to win to become the Blitz World Champion. Magnus starts by moving his pawn to d4, which Hikaru automatically responds to with a knight to f6. Magnus then plays knight f3, with Hikaru briefly considering options before going with d5. Upon developing their starting pieces, the game begins with the London system, where Magnus has an active bishop and great center, which is why Hikaru now plays bishop to d6 here. Here, with Magnus deciding to trade bishops and soon after trading down the DNC pawns. Each trade Magnus makes favors him, as in their previous encounters, Magnus is known to win most of their endgames. And with that, Magnus decides to play his pawn to c4, which Hikaru thinks about for some time before trading down another set of pawns and activating Magnus's bishop. Hikaru castles his scheme to safety, not knowing this move was the beginning of his worst nightmare. Magnus starts this nightmare by playing rook c1, putting an x-ray on Hikaru's queen, which makes Hikaru think again before moving his queen back to safety. Magnus then cancels his king and his rook, which Hikaru responds to by moving his pawn to b6. After a few moves, Magnus offers another bishop trade, which Hikaru reluctantly agrees to. Magnus then jumps in the center with knight e5, which Hikaru, after a minute of thinking, tries trading off playing knight d7. Magnus has different plans, though, playing queen f3, offering a queen trade, as Hikaru cannot take the knight here without losing his queen. Hikaru moves his queen away, avoiding the queen trade. While Hikaru is clearly the faster player, his time is running much lower than usual. Magnus plays his knight to c6, threatening to check Hikaru's king, which Hikaru moves away again. This is where the fun begins. Magnus plays his knight to c4, knowing if he wants to win this match, he needs to strike now. This allows Hikaru to take a free pawn, which Hikaru very reluctantly goes for. While free pawns can be a good taking, taking a free pawn against Magnus can be very dangerous. Magnus plays g5, threatening to attack Hikaru's knight on f6, which Hikaru counters by playing his other knight to c5, opening a square up for his attacked knight to escape. Magnus plays knight to d6, adding another attack to the center, with an aim at the f7 square. And it's at this moment when Hikaru starts to crack. While his best move was to take another pawn with queen b2, Hikaru goes in for an attack by moving his knight to b3, which quietly completely destroys all his winning chances. Magnus plays his rook to c2, moving his rook away from the attack, which Hikaru attacks again by playing queen a4. Unfortunately, this is the nail in the coffin for Hikaru, with Magnus playing a devastating move, moving his rook to c4, attacking Hikaru's queen again. Magnus then delivers a deadly blow, attacking Hikaru's knight with his pawn to g5, which, after Hikaru moves, will allow Magnus's pieces to bully Hikaru's king. Apparently, Hikaru didn't like the sound of this as he starts shaking his head, realizing the terrible mistake he's made. He moves his knight to the only square possible, but unfortunately it's too late. Magnus plays his rook to h4, then after winning some material, trades off Hikaru's knight for his rook. Hikaru goes for his last chance, playing his rook to f8, hoping to find a checkmate on Magnus, aiming for f2. But Magnus sees this, and playing his rook to f4 completely eliminates any chance of Hikaru winning the match, as if Hikaru takes the rook, Magnus will checkmate him with the back rank. Hikaru decides to resign, crowning Magnus Carlsen the third time in a row Blitz World Champion.